Welcome to Tangling Along with me today. We are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and we are going to do this pattern right there. Let's open up our book or find the page we are working on or a new piece of paper, whatever you like. I'm going to make this pattern in this room up here because I think this will fit really nicely in there. Um, it's actually kind of uh, easy. You just are start out with some lines and I'm just going for uh, this. I could make one over here as well. This pattern could be used as a border um, if you make this, uh, this the lines are different. If you make the lines like this and then like that then you would be able to make it as a border instead of as a, a fill tangle um, I like this room to be filled up so I'm going to do it like this then I am going to make uh, some black beads here and I'm leaving a tiny bit of white for a little shine I decided to make one here in the middle and then I'm just going to make beads all the way down this line or all of the lines actually and the size of the beads are up to you whatever you like and this would also be very very pretty in another color so you could try that out as well if you wanted to. I can have a big pearl right here as well. And then I think I can have a small one at the end. Whoops. Now my bead is a bit deformed. Okay, it's working. And I can have a smaller one right there. And then on this line, And here I have a very, very tiny bead. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. There we go. Better. And then this line here.
there we go. I'm going up here. And again, I'm making this little light splash here, sparkle in all of the beads. Just take your time, relax your hand and your shoulders, and remember to breathe. I personally forget breathing when I'm so concentrated about a pattern like I am about this one. I'm gonna make this last one go under that one, the other pattern there. Then this line. And this one. And I could have a whole one right here. Placing a small bead on the string and right here. There we go. And then there is a line between these beads. Like that. And I'm gonna do that here as well. all of these. It's a bit like a spider web now. Actually I think these will continue down right here. And in some of the uh, cool sears from the original, um, uh, for, yeah, and in some of these, uh, and in one of these sears that uh, she made in the step out, uh, you could make these lines go double that also have a very neat look to them. So I'm gonna make these two sides double just because I can. So that is actually a very pretty design, very easy, and you could uh, make some tangles in between these lines if you wanted to. Um, one that I like 
is just simple lines in between some lines I like that I think that is really really pretty you don't need to do this uh, that's just me uh, let's make it right here as well there we go so that What's the pattern itself? Really neat. I like it. Now for the shading. Um, I really don't know how to shade this. You could uh, maybe shade around these on the same side all the way around. Oh, sorry. Then using the tortillon, just making a shade here on one side. And if I'm gonna do that here on the same side of each of these beads and I'm gonna turn my book a bit to make the rest of these so that should be this side and then this one and the last one remember this little part down here there we go and the last one over here placing that in there and using the tzotchilion on that as well so that is the pattern actually I think I'm going to make um, a shadow, shadow right here down this line so that it looks like it's going under this other tangle right there and just smoothen it out there we go so that was the tangle for today it's this one i hope you liked it and enjoyed that so thank you for watching have an attitude of gratitude